how to fix unable to install apps on the iPhone 16 series. Now there are many different things that can cause your iPhone not to be able to install apps. First, the first thing that you want to check is if you cannot find the app store on your device, then you want to check at the restrictions. So here in my app library, if I try to find app store, I cannot find it. Okay, so I cannot find the app store. So what you want to do is first go into settings and in settings, I'm going to go back to the main settings page. In here, we scroll down and then tap on screen time. Next, we go down and then tap on content and privacy restrictions. Next, tap on iTunes and App Store purchases and make sure installing apps has been set to allow. So choose allow. And now if you go back into your app library, see if you can find App Store. So here App Store has been restored and now I can uh, find App Store from App Library as well. So if I type in App Store, there it is, App Store. And after that, try to install apps, see if it works. So that is the first thing that you can do is make sure it is available in the app library by make sure you are allowing it in the um, in the screen time settings. So that is the first thing. The next thing is um, if you have App Store but you still cannot download, make sure you have a valid or an active internet connection. So ensure you have a stable Wi-Fi and cellular data connection. So you can swipe down to open up the control center. You can turn on airplane mode and then switch it off so that your Wi-Fi or 5G will reconnect to the network. So if the connection is low, maybe you can try to switch to another network. So give that a try and see how you go. Another thing that you can do is try to restart your iPhone. So press on the side button and the volume up key. So press and hold and then just slide the this button here to off. Once you, once you have power off the iPhone, then simply just press on the side button, press and hold to restart the iPhone and see how you go. Okay, next you can check the App Store settings. So go into settings, then we scroll down and tap on apps, then tap on App Store. And in here, tap on apps download. Just turn this on and it can automatically install free and pay apps purchase on other devices. So just try to turn this on and see how you go. Now there is also another optional auto automatic download of a cellular data. So you can turn it on. So in case if you have Wi-Fi issue, you can use cellular data to download apps. Another thing that you might want to check is your available storage. So go into settings. Now in settings, I will go back to the main settings page. Then we go down and tap on general and then tap on iPhone storage. Make sure you have enough storage space. If you are running out of space, then you cannot download any new apps. So you need to delete some existing app that you no longer use to make space for the new apps. The next thing that you can check is make sure that you are signed into your Apple ID. So ensure you are signed to your app store with the correct Apple ID. So open up the App Store. So uh, in settings, you can go back in here and then go into your Apple account. And in here, we go into media and purchases and make sure you sign into the correct account. You can tap on view account for more details. Another thing that you can do is make sure your iOS is up to date with the latest software. So in here, we can go into, from settings, you can go into general, then tap on software update, and make sure you have update your software to the latest uh, version. So give that a try. Another thing that you can do is to reset network settings. So from general and scroll down. In here, tap on transfer or reset iPhone, and then tap on reset, and then choose reset network settings. And then you need to enter your passcode to begin the reset network settings. Sometimes when you have an issue with the network, your phone cannot connect to the, inter uh, to the internet. So by resetting the network settings, that can help. Uh, that can be helpful. And that's it. So give that a try and uh, see if you still have any issues. If um, you still have a problem, 
you may need to restore your iPhone or you need to contact Apple for additional support. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.